Good morning, I'm Stephen Datz, Chair of the Awards Committee. I'd like to call the January 19, 2023 Awards Meeting to order. We have a physical quorum represented by Laura Sheppes, Haibu, and myself. We also have Joe Orfano joining us online. Uh, Ricky Erickson uh, will be joining us uh, momentarily, but we have a physical quorum represented, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. Uh, I've asked Jenny to just announce uh, when Ricky joins us. The Office of General Counsel is represented by Rebecca Levee. Budget is represented by Stephanie Neely. And before, be before we begin reviewing today's uh, agenda, I'll note that there isn't anyone physically present for public comment. And Cecil, did you receive any public comment via email? No public comments received. All right. I'll pause for a moment to allow callers joining us online to unmute and speak up. Hearing no comments, we'll proceed with today's regular agenda. We have items one through eight that have been reviewed by procurement and budget. These items are now ready to be reviewed by the awards committee. Note that award item nine has been deferred. Beginning with item one, representing the minutes from the January 12th, 2023 awards committee meeting. Are there any comments or corrections to be discussed? Um, this is high, just one minor correction under item one of the last uh, of the agenda, we only reviewed awards item two through six, not 14. <laughs> uh, yes. Otherwise, I slept through the last eight. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so we'll make that update. Thank you very much. Any other comments or concerns? May I get a motion to approve award item one? Uh, so moved as amended. And a second? Second, Joe Arfano. We have a motion from Haibu, a second from Joe Arfano. All those in favor, say aye. 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 All those opposed? Minutes are approved as presented. I'll pass it over to Jenny McCollum, our chief procurement officer, to present each of the remaining items before I ask with, for a motion, beginning with item two. Thank you through the chair. Just one quick uh, correction to the minutes, um, what Hi had said, but I believe we deferred one last week also. Um, so it wouldn't be two through six, it would be two, three, and then I think we deferred four, so then five and six. Yeah. So we'll update that. Yeah. All right. So award number two is a uh, request for proposal. These are engineering services for the Southeast Water Treatment Plant ground storage tank project. This includes preliminary design, final detailed design, um, permitting support, engineering support during bidding, uh, engineering services during construction, and engineering services during startup. Mont McDonald, Florida LLC is our recommended awardee in the amount of $555,255. We expect this project to be completed in October of 2025. We went through a competitive bidding process and we received two proposals. Um, the companies that did not submit proposals stated that they were focusing their efforts on other opportunities as reasons for not submitting. So you see we had five prime companies attend that mandatory pre-proposal meeting. The negotiated fee is approximately 59% higher than the estimate. Uh, this is due to the need to perform an in-depth geotechnical investigation for the ground storage tank and underground utilities of the site, as well as adjusting for a longer construction period based on what has been observed on other similar projects. So I'm going to pause there and ask the business if there's anything else you want to add to that last part. <clears throat> I just want to, uh, Jenny, this is Brian Phillips. I just wanted to uh, state that uh, there's also uh, more work going on than just a ground storage tank. There's also uh, a bunch of electrical work, uh, moving some MCCs, um, a new a, a flow meter, above ground uh, flow meter will be installed, uh, the discharge piping header will be replaced and uh, a 
walkway between the existing ground storage tank and the new one will also be designed and installed. So Brian, were, were some of those items you, you <coughs> called out not a part of the original estimate? Um, what would have caused were, that big were, delta? Yeah, there, there were a couple additions there. And also, um, we kind of blew the estimate on this one um, for the engineering. We, we actually originally uh, uh, estimated it at 450,000 and then reduced it by $100,000. That's why there's such a big delta. Thank you. Any questions or comments from the committee? Hey, this is hi. Um, hey, Brian, thank you for this comment. Because <clears throat> uh, I was reading the reasons why the the fees for hiring estimated and uh, they don't they didn't make sense. I just want to say first, I think the five hundred fifty five thousand dollars is reasonable. I don't have any issues with that. But I would ask you that we change the reasons why the costs are higher due to what Brian just said, <clears throat> because um, I don't think the additional geotech for the, the storage tank, uh, we have a storage tank out there on site and there's space dedicated on site for the new tank and there's no difference in at a site from one spot to the other. So I'm not too sure why additional quote unquote geotech is needed. And secondly, Mark McDonald was the firm who designed the last upgrade of Southeast. And um, they have all the information. Uh, they designed a lot of the underground pipe in there. So I'm not quite sure why we would need more money to do the investigation for underground piping that they designed. But I agree with all the other scopes that you said about the MCC electrical um, uh, meter and um, walkway. Th those are definitely valid and needed. So if we can change the reasons why or just add the reasons why, it makes a lot more sense to me at least. Agree. We will work with the business on that and make sure we get that updated before we send it to the chair for signature. Any other questions or comments? All right, I'll pass it back to the chair for a vote. Thank you, Jenny. And I did notice that uh, Ricky Erickson joined us online. So Ricky, you want to do a quick uh, sound check? Can you hear me, Stephen? Yes, I can. All right, thank you very much. All right, and may I get a uh, motion to approve award item two with amendments? So moved. And a second. I move second. We have a motion from Laura Sheppes, a second from Hai Vu. All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed? Motion is adopted. I'll pass it back to Jenny to present award item three. Thank you. Through the chair, award number three is a single source. Uh, this is for the Georgia Street HPFF pumping plant house. Uh, this is to remove and replace two existing pumping skids and the two buildings in which they are located uh, with, with one entirely new modular design pumping plant house. Uh, the award includes equipment only. Uh, we will bring a separate single source OEM purchase award um, for the install and commissioning to be completed by the same vendor. Um, the use of the OEM for fabrication and installation reduces significant operational risks, outage duration, and potential for defects and allowing a non-OEM fabricated equipment as backup. Um, we've got Mac Product Inc. Uh, recommended awardee at $1,121,153. We expect uh, the equipment to be here by September 30th of 2023. I think that's what we're saying, but if that's project completion, just correct me when I'm finished. Uh, we, as some background, we own approximately 50 miles of high pressure fluid filled pipe type cable, which is buried throughout the city and makes multiple river crossings. 
uh, line pressure of this pipe type cable system is maintained by pressurizing or pressurization plants located at various uh, substations and generating stations. Um, in 2011, we issued a request for bid for the replacement of two pressurization plants. MAC Products Inc. was awarded the contract with the bid and it was 42% lower than their competing bidders. After implementation was successfully completed for the replacements, JA standardized on the pressurization system equipment with MAC products. Uh, this allowed for consolidated uh, training, similar software and interfaces for all installed equipment uh, and common equipment uh, kept in inventory for spare, for spare parts. I will note that the last uh, project, similar project was completed in 2020. Um, and we have seen about a 5.5 increase annually on average since we standardized in 2011. Um, however, in when we consider switching equipment or, um, you know, with a, with a different manufacturer uh, and the quality of service, um, the price increases, pricing for the contract is deemed reasonable when we look at the, um, the overall uh, picture for, for this type of equipment. And then I'll lastly note that we've got a 10% supplemental work allowance included in the award amount. I will pause there. Do you guys have any questions or comments? This is how I have a comment and then uh, a question, really for confirmation. Comments, uh, I think Mac was smart in that they initially come in really low and then um, essentially got the equipment standardized and now essentially JEA can't switch because of the additional cost to switch out equipment. It's like uh, buying a printer at a really low cost and then you're, you, you're forced to buy the ink from the state. I love company. that analogy. Right. Right. <laughs> and so I think my comment is make just for the team, just make sure that Mac continues to uh, perform well and provide us the services um, because they know that we, uh, uh, we can't switch it out because of the cost or whatever issues. Uh, it sounds like they're doing well. Um, the other comment for confirmation is that um, it sounds like installation is going to be beyond this fiscal year. Um, so there's holding a certain amount, like $300,000 for installation and probably $100,000 for uh, um, contingencies. Um, so first, I just want to confirm that that's correct. And then second, uh, if that's correct, then I would change the project completion date to beyond 2023 because um, it won't be completed by the end of this fiscal year because we're holding we're holding the money, right? If, this uh, is me speaking. So the description was incorrect in the beginning. The total price of one million one twenty one does include installation. And the equipment, right. the equipment will be manufactured by September 30th. It will be installed and placed in service by uh, April 1st, 2024. So, okay, so the the 1.1 million does include installation, or is that just support services? It or includes installation. Okay. It includes okay. purchase of the equipment and the installation of the equipment. Okay. So there's then there's a couple of corrections. Uh, for the purchase and installation, and then the completion date is going to be uh, beyond 2023. That, that's correct. The equipment will be manufactured by September uh, 2023, yep. but it will that's be installed right. by April 1st, 2024. Yep. Thank you. Hi for the the call out on those and we'll have the procurement team update that accordingly. <clears throat> Any other comments or questions? All right, I'll pass it back to the chair for a vote. 
Thank you, Jenny. May it get a motion to approve award item three with amendments? No more final Ricky amendment. Second. Ricky second. second. We have a motion from Joe Orfano, a second from Ricky Erickson. All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed? The motion is adopted. I'll pass it back to Jenny to present award item four. Thank you. Through the chair, award number four is an invitation for bid. This is uh, continuing services for bulk liquid emulsion pol polymers uh, supply and delivery. Uh, this chemical is used in the thickening and drying of our uh, wastewater biosolids. Polydyne Inc. is our recommended awardee in the amount of, is that award amount correct? Real quick, I want to ask the business because we had a last minute change on this to a three year from a five year. Can someone confirm that for me? Because I might. You're right, Jen. That number is five year contract. We need to uh, adjust it. Of course. It's, it's a little bit off popping. Yeah, yeah. No, that is not correct with the change in the term. Okay. We I'll have the procurement team get get with budget because this was a last minute um, reduction that we made yesterday, late yesterday. So with that in mind, when we're updating this award um, to match the correct award amount, um, I, I'd like for budget to state it for the record so we know what it should be so that we can vote on it accordingly and properly and then we can update it. Um, but then second, I'd like to make a note in the background that states that we reduce the term, the original term from the solicitation from a five year with two one year renewals. So a total of seven possible years to a three year with three one year optional renewals. So still within our, our scope, um, we only had one bidder and we negotiated this, um, this term down some uh, in the best interest of JEA. So, I'm okay with that, but I just want to note that in the, the background as well. Hey, Jenny. We're, so I'm going to pause right. real quick. Okay, thank you. Can budget give us the right award amount so that the committee is voting accordingly? So based on um, what the business is saying, the correct amount should be $7,584,720. That's correct. Okay, thank you. That for the record, um, that would be the award amount. Um, then I'll, I'll just continue through. We talked a little bit about it, but uh, we did only receive one bid. Uh, we tried to encourage participation here um, through extending the bid due date. We communicated the solicitation um, to approximately 30 different suppliers with follow-up communication to all the suppliers that had previously participated in solicitations. Um, just you know, really put forth a, a solid effort to try to get competition here. Um, we, and, you know, just some of the feedback that we got was declined to participate citing the arrangements being cost prohibitive based on the source locations and the transit to the JEA service area. Um, I'll also note that there's been an increase in market demand for polymers and a reduction in supplier base due to mergers and acquisitions. So that's also contributing to the low participation. Um, when we look at the pricing for this, the award represents a, about a 33% uh, price increase, percent price increase. Um, and we are going to allow them to have a CPI um, annual adjustment to help alleviate some of the concerns of the locked in pricing for a long term. So um, we tried to alleviate some of those concerns, but uh, we ended up only getting the one bid. So we were reducing that um, term from five years to three years, give us some flexibility, and then we have the options to renew for three years after that. See what the market does. Any questions or comments? This is high, just a quick comment. So we, the um, comments from other vendors are valid. So um, 
at the end of the, around the two year time frame, we're going to open up and invite different vendors to come in and do their testing, jar testing or whatever they need to do um, to get the best, uh, their best product out there and to really to give the other vendors a chance to compete against the incumbent. It is, it does take a lot of time and effort um, to dial in the right formula for the polymer. So we'll make that opportunity available for the vendors in the near future so that um, we'll have good competition going forward. I'm assuming these polymers do some, okay, make a chemical reaction or process happen that we need to have happen mm -hmm. for many reasons, regulatory and the biosolids business outcomes. So this is an important chemical. Yes, it is um, definitely a required part of the process treatment um, and, and a huge impact. If, if, like, for example, if at Buckman, if we can't, we don't have this polymer in order for us to um, eventually make the pellets and yeah. sell the pellets, we have to haul away the, the, the cake or the liquid sludge. It costs, it's costing us about $100,000. A week Whoa. to haul it away. So, okay, um, seven point five million dollars over three years is a lot needed. So, hi, I really I like the additional comment that you added, and I'd like to also note that in the background. I think that's important um, to show one why we're reducing the term, but two, what we're trying to do different and mm -hmm. opening it up and testing new products, et cetera, um, within this term of three years to see if it makes sense to renew or to continue to move forward with this supplier. So I'd like that to be part of the update as well. Any questions uh, from procurement on those updates or any other comments from the committee? So, uh, Jenny Darrell here. I didn't hear High's uh, comment clearly. I, I, I heard the gist of it, but if I could just get a, 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 a brief, maybe summary, quick on, on how we would like to uh, incorporate that into the back. Yeah, Darrell. Yeah. Uh, and, 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 uh, in two years, JEA will invite vendors in to test their um, product so that we can have uh, increased competition and Got it. Uh, evaluate the three year, uh, evaluate the renewal option. Thanks, Todd. And I, I did get the other comments, the uh, adding the adjustment in term after negotiating and the, uh, the new award amount. We're, we, we're working on those updates as we speak. Thanks, Jenny. Thank you. All right, I'm, I'll pass it back to the chair for a vote. Thank you, Jenny. May I get a motion to approve award item four with amendments? I believe so. Moved. And a second? Second. We have a motion from Haibu, a second from Laura Shepes. All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed? Motion is adopted. I'll pass it back to Jenny to present award item five. Thank you. Through the chair, award number five is a contract increase. This is for industrial cleaning services. Um, we've got equipment at Northside, Brandy Branch, uh, Kennedy, Greenland. Additionally, this contract may be used to support other JA facilities, water, wastewater locations on an ad needed basis. Um, I'll just note that as part of the original bid, JEA required bidders to submit hourly and equipment rates to provide a 40 hour of week industrial cleaning with a 12 person crew. Um, the bid, this bid requirement was referred to as option A. And when we originally awarded this, JEA's intent after looking at that was to manage temporary employees through work spend and not um, use option A. And so this is why we are back with the committee. So you'll see that from an update 
contract, contract increase perspective, we are only increasing MPW Industrial Services, Inc. in the amount of 2230000 um, This will take us through the original term of, of December 21, 2024, and what this is doing is it is, um, you know, we've, we went through the process of the original intent of managing um, the contractors directly using work spend, but after approximately five months of uh, current market labor challenges using temporary labor and JD managing the personnel, it was decided to switch to the, the option A, outsource manage labor um, and have MPW perform the work. Um, and so that drew down on our um, our contract cap. So we are here to request the additional funds um, to get us through the continued use of that term, the original term. Any questions or comments? All right, I'll pass it back to the chair for a vote. Thank you, Jenny. May I get a motion to approve award item five? Ricky, so moved. And a second. Final second. We have a motion from Ricky Erickson, a second from Joe Arfanu. All those in favor, say aye. 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 All those opposed? Motion is adopted. I'll pass it back to Jenny to present award item six. Thank you. Through the chair, award number six is an invitation to negotiate. This is for professional services for Cisco uh, contact from the UCCE 11.6 to PCCE 12.6. Uh, they will perform or provide full platform and application services to migrate JEA from their current Cisco Unified Contact Center Enterprise platform with CVP to a newly built Cisco package uh, contact center enterprise platform and its dual site deployment. Prosys Inc. is our recommended awardee in the amount of $330,250.18. Uh, this project is estimated to take a, approximately nine months to complete in full, but they are doing this in two kind of two stages, um, and we'll get into a little bit more of that in just a moment. But as we went through the bidding process, uh, we received three responses, and Sentinel Technologies was disqualified for not meeting the minimum qualifications. Uh, we then um, evaluated on price, professional staff experience, past performance, design approach and work plan, and JEA shortlisted the other two, uh, uh, process and Presidio and requested best and final offers, uh, which we did not see any reduction uh, when we moved through that process. Um, and process was deemed the most responsible and responsive respondent. Um, we've got, as noted in the in the background, um, the current there's some critical pieces that will be done prior to, you know, our goal is to get those done prior to storm season. Um, and so the whole system will go out of support in September. So the goal is to have it completed before that goes out of, out of service. But Jay is immediately replacing the critical IVR functionality um, prior to storm season to ensure business continuity and the remaining project um, deliverables will be processed um, after that, after the, those critical functionalities are performed. Any questions or comments on this one? This is high. If this project takes nine months from the beginning of February, should we hold back some of the award amount for FY23? I think an amount of around $82,000. For 100% completion. Or are we in a situation where we want them to definitely finish this work before September 30th and maybe even yeah. August 31st? 
And, and to Jenny's point, the core system functionality to meet the business, the existing business needs will be completed before storm season. Mm -hmm. So we'll, we'll have a stable, reliable platform going okay. into storm season, uh -huh. but they're going to continue to work on enhancements and uh, other, other functionality to continue to improve the environment. So getting... I think back to the question, if there is any remaining work, then I think we'll need to note that some of that's going to carry over into fiscal year 24. I'd like the business to provide their thoughts uh, from the design approach and work plan. Is there any concern that this wouldn't be finished from, from what they've designed and, and submitted to us? from a timeline perspective in that nine month time frame. Is that a question? I'm sorry. It is a question. Okay. So we are planning um, to do our very, very best to be ready with the core functionality by May 31st. The IVR is a critical system for storm seasons when it comes to our customers. Um, and so that's our primary goal. And beyond that, we're going to continue to add functionality that has been requested by the business, but it is not critical to storm season. Beyond that, there's always the possibility that some of it may linger a bit in fiscal year 24, but at this time, we don't believe that will be the case but we surely can come back and alert you guys if that it, you know, becomes um, an issue. So then I, I think it would be appropriate then to amend that statement that um, the time frame could extend out to nine months, but the team will um, try to accelerate the, the schedule and have it completed by this end of this year 23. Yes, that would be fine. Thank you. Any other comments or questions? All right, I'll pass it back to the chair for a vote. Thank you, Jenny. May I get a motion to approve award item six with amendments? I move so moved. And a second. Second. One final second. Oh. <laughs> we have a motion from I move, a second from Laura Sheppis. All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed? The motion is adopted. I'll pass it back to Jenny to present award item seven. Thank you. Through the chair, number seven is a single source. This is for the A2 slash E2 fuel feeder replacement project. The request is to purchase replacement conveyor fuel drops from the OEM, which is uh, Thoburn Flex Inc. in the amount of $931,797. Uh, expected to have this completed by the end of this fiscal year. As background, the drag conveyor and feeder drops have reached their end of life and require replacement. Um, just some history on what we've seen since uh, 2016. According to plant records, there have been six rear uh, wall feeder breaches resulting in loss of MWH. And during the same period, there have been over 40 plant work orders associated with fuel leaks within the feeders and associated drops in addition to various mechanical failures or other issues on the rear wall feeders and drops. Um, so equipment leaks, leaks allow the accumulation of coal and coal dust along equipment and buildup of the fuel below the units. And that coal buildup poses a potential safety risk due to combustion com compatibility. So this uh, award amount is 11% lower than what we had estimated. The last time we performed similar work was quite some time ago, um, 2009. Um, and so the historical price back then was much lower than what we're seeing today. 
but when we consider the potential impacts to the plant from reduced operations or downtime and safety risks, we consider this price reasonable. Any questions or comments? All right, I'll pass it back to the chair for a vote. Thank you, Jenny. May I get a motion to approve award item seven? So our final so move. And a second. You second. We have a motion from Joe Arpano, a second from Ricky Erickson. All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed? The motion is adopted. I'll pass it back to Jenny to present our final award item for today. Thank you. Through the chair, award number eight is an invitation for bid. This is for our fleet expansion of Kubota mini excavators. So this award will purchase six of those ex excavators that are in the FY23 fleet capital requirements for expansion for the water department. Ridge Equipment Company Inc. is our recommended awardee in the amount of $630,744. We're expecting these units uh, to come in in August of 2023. We went to bid and we received two bids. Um, and I'll note that um, there are, are two different variants being purchased here. We've got four of the excavators um, our standard models plumbed for some control, and the other two have the some controls on them. Uh, and when we look at, you know, industry increases and in pricing for this type of equipment, Fleet had estimated an increase of 18% from the last purchase in 2021, um, but the, they ended up coming in only about a little under 8%, so 7.82% when we bid this out with those two bidders. So that was great news. Um, we don't get to see a whole lot of great news on the equipment side so for fleets. So that was um, encouraging. And then uh, the lead times are dependent on allocations from Kubota, but both vendors expect to be able to get the full six uh, units in within six months. So that is how we are basing our estimated arrival and completion of August, 2023. Any questions or comments? Jenny, it's Joe. There's just a number of empty pages on the final uh, awards package. W was that corrected this morning or there's about 15 or 16 pages that are blank at the end of the report? I don't, can you scroll down for me, whoever's? Yeah, that would be uh, the workbook. Was that in there? Uh, we'll, we'll take out those uh, blank pages. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, it was the formatting of the Excel. Okay. Yes, please clean that up. Thanks, Joe. Any other questions or comments? All right, I'll pass it back to the chair for a vote. Thank you, Jenny. Can I get a motion to approve award item eight? So moved. And a second. I vote second. We have a motion from Laura Shepes, a second from High Boo. All those in favor say aye. Uh -huh. aye. Aye. All those opposed? Motion is adopted. The entire agenda representing items one through eight is approved for January 19, 2023. Is there any other business to come before the awards committee at this time? All right. Seeing none, we're adjourned. Thank you. Go Jags. Go Jags. <laughs> Go Jags. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. <laughs> <laughs>